Hi everyone, I'm Spectrum News meteorologist Kaylee Wendt here to help provide you with another science lesson that you can share with the kids as we move through this week. Now today, if everyone was up early, I imagine if you have kids you were, you did see some of the snow and the sleet and the rain that we picked up. Here's a little bit of a precip explainer, and that's what I want to focus in on for today. What we typically see in the springtime months is rain, as you know. And what you need in order to have rain is warm air all the way from the clouds down to the ground. Freezing rain is very similar. We have warm air aloft, and just as you get toward the surface, colder air, typically below freezing, which is why that rain freezes on contact. Now sleet is just a little bit different. We start out with warmer air aloft, but as we cross this line of cold air, again, typically below freezing, we see that icy sleet start to develop. And last but not least, snow. One of the things that I found interesting when learning about this in school is that in order to be considered snow, we have to have cold air all the way from the clouds down toward the ground. And that's what creates all of that white stuff. I hope that this helps you to get through another day of this quarantine with the kids, and I'll bring more updates as we move through the week. If you have any ideas for me of things that you would like explained, please pass them along on either Twitter or Facebook, and I'll do my best to get them done. Stay safe and stay healthy.